Well, hey there, my beautiful fairies. This is Jessie, your Fire Fae with Fire Fae Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell down below for me. Thank you, Leos, for tuning in. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Cross Watchers. Somebody getting out of their head over something because somebody wasn't putting the effort and the work where it needed to go? Hmm. We will find out, Leo, in the reading for March 2020. Okay? Cross Watchers as well. Hello. Mm, I'm kind of spit there a little bit. Did you see that? But just to warm it up. Anyway. <laughs> Everything will be in the box down below. Email, all that good stuff. I'm working on the website. New reading. So, let's just get into the monthly reading 2020. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse balance. Somebody may be getting out of a long-term commitment here. A relationship. Possibly a marriage. All right. Leo or Cross Watcher. We'll see. We will get into it. Let's do it. Let's. Ooh, that is not a pretty cut. That is not a pretty cut. Spirit's like, nope, not yet. Oops, I'm going to shuffle again. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angel. We appreciate and love you for this day. Let's have a clear, concise, compassionate message for our Leos. Please, what's going on with Leos? Please, what's going on with Leos? Please, what was that? Mm -hmm. Three of Swords in the reverse. Well, at least it's in the reverse. Is somebody getting over some heartache? Like I said, we will see. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, somebody's over something from the past, possibly. There might be children here. There's the Six of Cups in the reverse. But it's somebody who is no longer attached to this past emotionally. Okay, Leo or Cross Watcher? Top of the deck. There you are showing up in your own reading beautiful leo okay cross watcher if this is you as well beautiful this is that energy of that strength that courage that charisma that just defines leo's energy and who they are and beautifully you're standing in your power and abundance this month and you're not letting those past emotional ties bring you down what is up leo way to show up Mm, and we're single. Nine of Cups. Do it, do it. Yeah. Mm. Nine of Cups energy here. Internal, immediate internal, external, direct energy currently around us. How you could be feeling about the situation. If not, you're single and abundant. This is wish fulfillment. Our conflict here. Ace of Coins. So maybe there's a new start here that you're wanting. Possibly even a new job. This doesn't have to be with love. This is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. Take what works. Leave the rest. Right, guys? Right. So our conflict here is maybe we're wanting a new beginning in this material world. Maybe we're wanting this new relationship coming in. Spring fever is kicking in. This is usually cuffing season, guys, okay? It's kind of like the end of summer when people start to settle down for the holidays. You understand? Where we're at? Yep, King of Swords in the reverse. Past foundations, Three of Wands. Somebody didn't, was, um... Not ready to move on yet, basically. They were being resistant to having their ships come in. They were trying to force it. They were being basically a big old a-hole. Asshole, asshole, asshole. Right? You could have been dealing with an Aquarius, a, Li a Libra, or a Gemini with the King of Swords there. And the reverse could be an Earth sign. Could be another Leo like yourself. But with this Three of Wands, this is usually waiting for the ships to come in. The ships weren't coming in. And that's what puts you in the reversal energy there. Yeah, but in the past, because somebody was still focusing on getting over their emotional loss here with the Five of Cups in the reverse, which is good. You still might be having some residual energy. That's why you're coming up in the reverse right here. Okay, Let's see if you can see that. Future energy coming in, Ten of Wands in the reverse. There's that burden that just hasn't been put down or you already put it down in the past, okay? And it's just showing up that way. But it doesn't seem like that. We're getting there, okay? It's like you're getting there. You're not quite there yet. You're just getting into your abundance and your wish fulfillment being single. Does that make sense? Because something ended in the past. It could have been you transforming. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Could have been the ending of a relationship, mind frame, perspective, job, situation, ship, any things of that nature. All right? But that new death and that rebirth, there was the Phoenix moment. Okay? It just might have left a little, a bad taste in your mouth. Because somebody here is not... They're being isolated and they're not really seeing the bigger picture and they're keeping themselves isolated for selfish reasons. 
Because, yeah, somebody came in or hoping and fear and truth, justice, you know, honesty came in, clarity, a new mental perspective, a new message coming in with the sword could very well be dealing with the Libra here, Leo, okay? So what's going on here is what somebody hoping is somebody gets some clarity in this situation, get some honesty in this situation, because there has been a transformation. It's not the transformation still going on because somebody doesn't feel like they're completely healed yet. This is having the high ground. This is not having the high ground. OK, Leo could be you could be them. There's still something that's lingering their step you're getting into your courage and you're getting over this past connection whatever the hell it was leo so that's good right yeah see you're gonna make the choice you just haven't maybe made it yet because that little key is still a little hidden to you sometimes that the we're i'm filming this and we're still at the end of the mercury retrograde guys so i'm gonna try hopefully and get another pull in this month maybe three sets of readings that would be nice if i could get it done We'll see, though. It's very interesting. The burden's not put down with either you, Leo, or the other energy. And that's why, you know what I mean? Something, either that or somebody's not ready to give up their freedom. Could very well be that, too. Somebody's not ready to give up their freedom. They're in the process of having that Phoenix moment where it's starting to dawn on them that they know they need to change their ways. They know they need to do something different or they're going to be getting left out in the cold, right? Because they're not understanding why they're not having any new abundant, you know, beginnings. And there's the King of Swords in the upright. They're maybe being a little too head over heart in the situation, too logical. Very well could be a Libra, Leo, okay? Leo's, I mean, Leo's, Leo's, Leo's have an ego to contend with as well. That also could be ego, okay? They're arrogant and they can be very bravado-esque in their, you know, mannerisms in life. Let's see. Spirit, spirit, come to me. Clarify the message for our fairies. Knight of Pentacles told you somebody's slowly wanting to make that offering because the cycle is coming to an end here. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. It's in the process of moving as we speak. If you're not there already, you're moving. You're, the cogs are in place. All right, you might be feeling the energies as we come out of the retrograde. I believe it ends on March 11th because there was a judgment call here made. Somebody came in and blew the horn, blew the whistle, and was like, yo, eh. either they're going to stay single in their abundance or they're like, eh, why am I still single? I'm abundant. I've got what I want. I'm doing what I need to. Why doesn't this person see that? You know what I mean? Some people won't, okay? Some people will not see your worth and your value until you leave them. Stupid, I know. But sometimes that's how you learn who's meant to be and who is not. Conflict, three of cups. Maybe somebody was out just having too much fun, partying with their friends. Like I said, somebody here is wanting to stay single. There could be three people in this situation, Leo or Cross Watcher. But this is that a friendship, that abundance, that celebration, that partying, okay? And that's what somebody's not understanding. They're out there with their friends and doing their thing and mingling. And maybe they don't want a new material relationship yet. That could be what it is, too. You're having to kind of be an asshole to somebody, Leo or Crosswatcher, because you don't want the relationship. You're still focusing on yourself and your abundance being single. Which, nothing, see, I told you, somebody's taking a break. There's that Four of Swords, I knew it. Uh-huh, the Empress, because in the past, you thought your Empress energy was here. Either Leo, you were embodying this Empress energy, or somebody here, this offering here, was an Empress to somebody. You, they thought you were the empress. You thought they were the empress. If not, somebody here might have been pregnant in the past. But we've got one, two, two threes, three threes. There's threes, three threes, three threes. This could very well be the other woman. Somebody didn't want to let go of the third party situation bullshit. Yeah, 
And this here, somebody was emotionally over this, and that communication and change came in very rapidly, all right? Or that information came in very rapidly about not wanting to give up their wish fulfillment or their abundance, because somebody might be happy with this lifestyle. It is what it is. That's what I'm saying, because somebody here is all up in their head about this situation. They can get out of it all they want with this Eight of Swords energy, because somebody's not willing to let the burden go. They haven't put the burden down yet. And somebody's all up in their head about it. And we've got two eights. That's the change. You know, that's eight. Eight is eight. Is eight and eight. It's about change. It could have been the Taurus. Could have been somebody you were married to. You could be going through a divorce. Or you could be in the process of wanting to make this long-term commitment to this Empress energy. Virgo, there's justice again. It showed up twice. What we don't see coming in is the reason why this person or you or somebody's been keeping themselves isolated is due to the fact that somebody here had came in with honesty, with clarity, with new perspective, new vision on the situation. And they were like, nah, if it's not equal reciprocity, we ain't doing it. And they said, nope. If it ain't what I want, I'm moving on. So if not, somebody came in with their truth and justice with the Six of Swords here, and they're gone. Six of Swords is moving on into calmer waters, guys. Straight up. New Ace of Swords at the end of it, clarifying the Seven of Wands. They realize that they don't have the high ground in this. Somebody doesn't have their best interests at heart here. Leo is what you're maybe starting to see. Crosswatcher, you may be starting to see that about the Leo. Sorry, guys. Take the energies as they resonate. But either which way, somebody here is done with the cycle and they're over it and they're ending it. And they're ready to give that love offering, that pentacle to somebody. Somebody or somebody is wanting this pentacle, okay? Or they're just, like I said, waiting to give it to the right person, which was Cancer's reading, okay? I don't see any Cancer here, but, you know. Let's see, what else, what else can we see? Let the oracles help clarify the story for me, spirit. Yes, I know I can't sing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Trapped. Somebody here is feeling trapped in this situation. You might be trapped in a situation right now. You might be trapped in your head. You might be, you know, trapped in a relationship where you're still having to deal with an ex. You're trying to get out of a long-term commitment. Could be a government agency that's holding shit up. All right. In regards to a divorce. But either which way, somebody is just feeling trapped and they're trying to figure out how to get out of the situation. Ooh. Somebody's belt needs a good oiling or greasing or something. Uh, let's see what Psychic Heart Hero has to say. Oh, that was coming out. Filmy's feeling alone. Okay, makes sense. Okay, that's way too many. We're going to do that, but we're going to take that, teach. There's two fives. See, told you, there's the ending of something here needs to end, and you know it needs to end. Somebody needs to walk away. Yeah, there it is again. There's another eight, three eights. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Moving on. Moving on. Adds up to, right, 18, which adds to nine. That's almost the end of the cycle there, guys. But yeah, somebody came in with honesty and truth and understanding and they're moving on. Somebody's moving on because they're starting to see the situation for what it is. There's a mature man in this situation. Somebody is getting their maturity on and there's going to be a great abundance and fortune from this situation. Once you get that perspective and realize it's time to keep it moving. Main male, two guys, toil and labor. There, yep. There was another individual here. And maybe that's what came to light. Somebody is staying single. Anything else? Anything else, my spirit? Mm-hmm. Lovers. Doesn't have to be two men. Could be. But somebody is also, like I said, wanting to stay single. Somebody's wanting to stay single and wait. You know what I mean? And they have toil and labor because there's a lot of lovers here. 
there's a lovers in the situation the situation so i'm saying i think somebody found out about a secret lover you know what I mean? And now you're standing in your power and your abundance and you're moving on and you're letting the cycle go and you're not going to give that pentacle. You want to give it to somebody, okay? Not saying that you don't want to give it to somebody. You're going to give it to the right person, okay? All right, Leo, we're going to end it there. Looks like you're going to get that new clarity and perspective of understanding that you're not, you know, on top in this situation and you're not going to settle for anything else. I love it. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell down below. This is Jesse, your Fire Fae with Fire Fae Tarot.